Welcome to your guided tour of the Chatham-Kent 911 Emergency Communication Center. We are located inside the Chatham-Kent Police Headquarters in downtown Chatham. Although we work very closely with the police, we are not police officers. Our job is Emergency Communications Operator, or ECO. My name is Brian French. I'll be giving you your tour today, and I'm an ECO supervisor. Shadow Kid 911, what is your emergency? If you ever call 911 on a telephone, this room is where your call gets answered. And no matter what your emergency is, we can help you. ECOs are in constant radio contact with all the police officers on patrol in Chatham-Kent. And with the push of a button, we can page out more than 400 firefighters working out of 19 fire halls. That's a lot of help. We also work very closely with the Ambulance Dispatch Center in Wallaceburg that sends paramedics to medical emergencies. There are always three to five highly trained people working in this room. Almost everything we do is done on a computer, and each desk has two giant computer monitors. Maps on these screens show us exactly where someone is calling from, so we can be sure to find them and make sure they're okay. Our room is very busy, and the phone is almost always ringing. Every day we answer about 100 911 calls, but lots more calls come in to us on lines that are not 911 lines. In fact, this year, every ECO will handle about 10,000 calls each. When it gets really busy, a red light on the ceiling flashes to let us know that calls are coming in faster than we're answering them, so we'd better hurry up. Visitors to the Emergency Communications Center are often surprised because the room is always very quiet. ECOs wear headsets to talk and listen, both over the telephone and on the radio. Even when the room is very busy, the loudest sounds are the keyboards clicking as we type call details into our computers. Our computers are linked to the computers in the police cars, so as soon as a caller tells us something, it pops up on the screen in front of the officers. Every day people call 911 by mistake, and that's okay. We're used to it. If that ever happens to you, please don't hang up. Stay on the line and tell us what happened. If you disconnect before talking to us, we'll have to assume that you need help. So, we will send a police officer to the location where the call was made, as well as to your house to speak with an adult. You can always call 911 if you have an emergency, or if you're scared of someone or something, but don't ever call 911 just for fun, or just to see what happens. Let's end today's tour with a quiz about what we just talked about. Question 1. Where is the Emergency Communications Center located? Is it in Toronto, Chatham, or Tilbury? The Emergency Communications Center is located in Chatham. We answer all of the 911 calls placed from the municipality of Chatham-Kent. Question 2. What number should you call when you have an emergency? Should you call 911, 12345, or 54321? I think this one was pretty easy. You should call 911 if you ever have an emergency or if you're scared of someone or something. Question 3. If your friend dares you to call 911 and hang up just for fun, what do you say? Do you say, yes, sure, I'll do it? 
or do you say, no way? I hope everybody here said, no way. 911 is an emergency line, and if you call it, we're going to assume that you have an emergency. Don't ever call 911 just for fun. Question 4. If you ever do call 911 by mistake, what should you do? Should you scream loudly into the phone? Should you stay on the line and don't hang up? Or should you hide under your bed? I think this one's pretty easy too. If you ever call 911 by mistake, stay on the line, don't hang up, and talk to me or one of my coworkers. We'll ask you some questions and we'll probably want to talk to a grown up just to make sure that you're safe and everything is okay. Finally, question number five. Who will come to your house if you call 911 and don't answer the questions that we have for you? Will it be the ECO you're talking to on the phone? Will it be a firefighter? Or will it be a police officer? It will be a police officer knocking on your door because, again, we need to make sure that you're safe and that everything is okay. Thank you for taking this quiz. I'm pretty sure everybody passed. Thank you for watching this video. And on behalf of the 23 ECOs that work at our 911 Communications Center, stay safe and stay on the line.